everybody. There's always a strange feeling when heading out to sea for an extended period of time. Somewhat conflicting. Happy, yet sad. Excited, yet cautious. You want to stay, yet you must go. But then, when you confront the ocean, you don't think much. You just manage. Just tacked. It was getting all calm right in the um, protection of the island there of Sintantau. Wind dropped to like 10 knots. So I thought, okay, it's time to tack. Let out a reef, and now we've got 20 knots. So. <laughs> but it shouldn't uh, continue. It's supposed to drop down. And it's nice with just one reef, 20 knots. Still kind of heading upwind, but trying to stay up on course and then hopefully go a little bit more beam reach a little later. Oh, yes. A couple gusts here. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Boat's doing well. It's doing so much better since Koif cleaned the hull. He feels so much happier. Thank you, Koif. Was Gallop happy? I don't know. I got cocky, over-optimistic. I should not have let out a reef. The wind went from 10 to 25 knots. I should have anticipated that when I sailed away from the protection of the island and back into the mouth of the canal. The wind would strengthen, and as a result, I struggled hard and healed too much, too much sail. It was like going down a steep winding road, riding the brakes rather than shifting to a lower gear. I anticipated it would settle, eventually. And it did, after more than an hour. Just another day of sailing in uh, Salvagent in uh, Cape Verde. Conditions have mellowed a little bit. It's a little rough there at the opening of the canal. And now uh, settled a little bit when wind went down from like 22, 25 knots to about 17. But it's pretty washing machine style still. <laughs> Once you're past the excitement, you settle into another feeling. The wind has calmed, but not the waves. So you can't quite get comfortable. And someone else was not too well. That went out and party with Mama Du and his girlfriend yesterday. Had too much wine. I kind of regretted that I didn't hang out with them, but then I didn't uh, drink. I had a metal night and good shape to, to sail today. <laughs> I'm glad I did so. Woo, some good waves, man. Good, good waves here. Hello, <laughs> um, Mio. I'm going to go. The second lesson I've learned. La veille de navigation, il faut pas que je me coupe la gueule. Hier, j'avais trop bu. J'ai compris. Là, ça va beaucoup mieux. <laughs> we were sailing under a full moon, bright visibility. There was not a ship in sight. I went down to sleep. The wind died, and Galopin was in a standstill. We fell asleep at the helm and drifted aimlessly. Morning, hey. 
has broken like the first blah 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 for some reason that song was in my head simple reason was the sunrise a new day just puts you in a good singing mood and that was cleaning yesterday's leftovers morning has broken cat stevens i don't know the words <laughs> Wow, glorious, glorious morning. A long night. Had to turn on the motor for a few hours. Wind dropped to four knots. And now we're back to about 10 knots, 11 knots. Love morning sunrises, the best. Natasha smells, man. <laughs> Whoa. Rod oh, rod and fish for bait. We were dragging a fishing line and lure, but that was not going to feed us. We were settled in, though, and we were also hungry. We still had about nine hours to go. The ocean had settled also. Conditions were ideal, so there is not much more to say. Let's just enjoy the moment. We were making good progress. The wind progressively increased to just perfect and had shifted just enough to be at a comfortable beam reach. It seemed the ocean was giving us the gift of pure sailing pleasure. The gods were smiling and so were we.
We are about five, seven miles out from the island of Sal. Going to a port called Palmiera. And there's an anchoring spot there that's supposed to be cool. Finishing in style. Sails up fully deployed. About 11 knots of wind. Coming at a close reach here to close up. And just absolutely fabulous way to end this trip. Galapan was at his best. He's very, very happy because we cleaned him. And what a difference this makes to have a nice clean haul. Everything's much, it seems to be running much smoother. My speedometer, the boat is just cruising, at least a knot faster. Much more suave, as they say. Anyways, coming up to sell. Natasha has got an admirer on that boat. And now we're about to admire something new. Don't look over your shoulder. Don't look over your shoulder Don't ever look back